like I suppose I'd like to hear from your experience where some of the business owners that you've dealt with in the past within the trades, more product, proactive measures they could have taken in the review space, both better or worse. Like what are some of the things that we can learn from here within this realm? I think the first thing is don't delete negative reviews or don't try to hide negative reviews or, or whatever else. I mean, take them as opportunities. Uh, that's probably a like a secondary, don't do this underneath the, hey, like just pause before reacting. Don't have the same emotional response that somebody else did uh, when they left the review. Don't have the same emotional response when you try to respond to the review. The last thing you want to do is just go blast this person's character or try to defame or, you know, go assassinate the, um, I don't know, the, yeah, like the character of, of whoever's leaving the review. I think to your point earlier, a lot of one star reviews are just people doing what they do, which is leave one star reviews. But then there's some that there, or, or in everyone, there may be some valuable feedback that you can actually glean. Take that. And then how do we re gracefully respond in a way that everybody else that's not going to leave a one star review will appreciate? Just don't react, overreact. Maybe that's the best way to put it. I think as well, like in the, in the B2B space, especially, um, like, Review experiences can go both ways. And sometimes like, like we have some, you know, commercial clients that work in the commercial space and in the industrial space and things like that. And like a negative review that they might receive also most likely has a negative review that they're about to receive based on a professional experience with that business as well. Mm. So that definitely can become part of the dialogue where you're like, well, I, I, I appreciate that, you know, this was your experience. This is my experience working with you guys. And like that dynamic also changes a lot of opinion because then all of a sudden it's like, well, yeah, now it, <laughs> like it's, it's not a, like a cat, the nuclear not a arms cat. race. Yeah. The cold yeah, war. Yeah. And so, but, but again, I think typically like these things come down to react, like people are just being reactive and, you know, sometimes hot headed. Um, yeah. I, I think like, there's a lot of businesses, a lot of, in the States, we call them boring businesses. And that's really because, you know, they're like not SaaS companies or FinTech or whatever else. And, you know, a lot of boring businesses, I mean, they're just people that understand and know, right? Like we are these people that have been there before and we just understand and know a trade and then go start a business that people want for it. And a lot of times we didn't do that by being defamed or, you know, like we're, we, we did that with a certain measure of pride. And I just know that as we get to this level and we have more than like our own pride to, to measure and take care of, we actually get to champion uh, those core values and, and what we're really about in a way that um, is beyond ourselves. And that gets showcased when confronted with somebody that's taking a shot at that pride.